Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your bi-weekly love forecast for May 7th to the 20th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. As well as if you'd like a personal read with me, it's jenniferwalkersden.com or check out the description box below. So guys, you can check your moon, your rising, or your sun sign for more information. Feel free to cross watch. So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to be talking about your love interest, whoever you turn on this video for. We're going to do an assessment of the connection. We're going to look at how this person feels about you. And then we're going to look at the time period of May 7th to the 20th. What's going to happen? And then we're going to jump into the singles. So you guys can feel free to also check out the singles as well because you have told me in the comments below that sometimes they do resonate with you. So you can get more information over there. All right, so, so guys, stick with me to the end. Let's jump right in. So what's going on my Scorpio's romantic love life from May 7th to the 20th? What's going on my Scorpio's romantic love life from May 7th to the 20th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on my Scorpio's romantic love life from May 7th to the 20th? Scorpio's romantic love life from May 7th to the 20th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. And then how does my Scorpio's love interest, the one they're here for, the one I want to know about, how does my Scorpio's love interest feel about my Scorpio's? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so I'm going to put this over here for now. Let's see what's currently going on with this connection. Mm. We got the Magician card energy. Very good card. So it looks like there is some sense of wow this is an ideal connection that you have all the tools that you need here with the magician card energy and look at that it's a sense of happiness around this or there's some revealing about wow this is really an ideal situation for me but we're saying there's some sense of stability and stableness and also there could be some manifestation going on here with the magician card energy that's being revealed about this opportunity so what is your block actually a challenge scorpio Hmm. Well, some of you could be dealing with a situation at work or school, so this connection could be around there, or there's a sense of work or effort that's going to have to be put into this. Hmm. Maybe someone's not being completely honest here with the fox card energy, or there is a sense of, man, is this, um, am I being wise in my decision making? There's some sense of manipulation here. You know, um, will, will, you know, will there be a sense of work or effort into this, or there's something to do with work and school that part of the block chilean challenge here okay let's keep going what do you need in order to make the, or what does this person need in order to make the connection work well they just need you to communicate with them eight of wands energy there's the eight of wands can be you know talking and speaking this is our communication card right talking speaking text message facebook messages need communication <laughs> there we go a gift okay or communication to socialize because also the bouquet card energy can represent socializing, interacting, and or something of value here. Because remember, the bouquet card energy is like something to do with a gift or something of value. Also, the bouquet card energy represents attraction. So communicate your attraction. Okay, so what is the influence here? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. There is a sense of, all right, I got to play this the right way. I got to play politics here. And I got to be wise in my decision making here when it comes to this. And it's because of a person here, a person card's coming out. So the influence is something to do with a person and trying to be wise in their decision making. So we see there's something to do with an ideal situation and communication about putting the work or effort into this wisdom or wise choices and wise decisions. There's a sense of happiness and something really surprising, but someone's not being completely honest about a person or something to do with a person. We see there's an opportunity to put the work or effort into wisdom. Four energy tells me there's something to do with stability and stableness and desires here for some sense of change. And two plus nine is 10, 11 and making a choice. Yeah. So I feel like someone's not being honest about the fact that they want to put the work or effort into this or because of the fact that there is a work situation going on or a school situation going on. There may be so much focused on the details here, because that's what I also feel like with this Eight of uh, Pentacles kind of card. It's like this person's really just honed in on what they're doing here. And, you know, it's like, you know, is this really a wise choice and a wise decision? But you have an ideal situation here. You have all the tools you need, actually. There is some sense of happiness around this connection, and this person just wants some communication. Okay, so let's see how this person feels about you. They feel like they have a lot to give and they want to bring things into balance when it comes to this connection. They feel like they are hoping that you're single and available to pursue. 
This person feels like you're a very healing person to them. Okay. This person wants to have harder conversations with you. They want to communicate with you. And they feel like, oh my God, they're obsessed with you, Scorpio. <laughs> you got this obsession card. They have strong desires and strong attachments. They want to have hard to hard conversations about these strong desires and strong attachments. They feel like you're a wise decision and a wise choice when it comes to their life experiences, when it comes to love and romance. I'm just going to go through this a little bit here. Single and available to pursue. They want to communicate. They want to make wise choices and wise decisions. There's obsessions here that they need to be brought into balance because of healing and recovery. Okay. This person feels like they have a lot of regrets when it comes to you. And they really have been reflecting on things about the past. This person feels like, oh, there's the money card energy, right? For some of you, Eight of Pentacles coming out for work. This person feels like there's something to do with money and finances that could be hindering the romantic endeavors. Now, somebody could be focused on their Pentacles, right? Make money. And then, like, they're trying to be very strategic here which is part of the block and challenge to this. And obviously the reason what they would want to make this connection work is just communication, uh, something surprising or something to do with a gift or, you know, to socialize. This person feels like you are this new love to them, renewed love or uh, like the Ace of Cups energy, true love for them. Okay, so they feel obsessed with you. <laughs> They feel like they're hoping you're single and available to pursue. They want to have hard-to-hard conversations here about money and wisdom around some things when it comes to love and romance. This person wants to bring things into balance because of regrets about the past and this opportunity of true love, and they want to heal some things with you guys. Wow, okay. So let's keep going here. Okay, so let's take a look now at the time period of May 7th to the 20th here. Oh, wow, Scorpio, they want to get your attention here. Six of Wands energy. And it looks like somebody wants to travel towards you with the Chariot card energy. They want to be victorious here. And look at this, so they want to fight for you with the Seven of Wands energy. So this person wants your attention and they want to, they want to be victorious. They're going to go for this. They're going to take charge of this. They want to fight for you. Yep. The reason is, is because the sense of confusion here with the Clouds card energy, confusion about these news or messages and taking a risk. So because this person wants to gain clarity, they're going to pay you a visit here. That's what I feel like because the chariot card is a movement card, right? For me, it's like my travel card energy for the tarot. And then we got the writer card, which also can talk about movement. The writer card can talk about news, you hearing some kind of news about this confusion and taking a risk, or it could be about somebody paying you a visit because they're confused because they wanna take a risk at this. They wanna, they wanna throw the die, take a gamble here. Okay, and if we look at the numbers of this, six is saying healing, recovery, and love and an opportunity. Three plus nine is 10, 11, 12, more than one choice or option or creative solution. So let's keep going. Yeah, they want your attention because they feel like there's a missed opportunity and there's a sense that there's a twin flame soulmate connection here. And it looks like things are gonna move in your favor. Luck is on your side. And there we got the gamble card energy, interesting. Somebody wants to move from one location to another, store card energy, or they wanna start a family here and they feel like it's the right timing here because something that had ended, stopped, or completed here. Okay, and then we keep going. One more time here. There's a, been waiting around to see how things are going to play out. There's a choice being made here with the Two of Wands energy for celebration, for friendship, for hanging out, Three of Cups energy. So this person wants to hang out with you. They want to celebrate. They're making this choice because they've been waiting around here. They, they are ready to get your attention here because they've been confused about this moving from one location to another and they want some improvements and changes here. There's a choice being made because of the fact that there's like, all right, this is the right timing here. Let's go for this. I want to pay you a visit, Scorpio, because you're my twin flame soulmate connection. I'm making a choice with the heart and I'm going to take charge of this. I want to fight for this connection and I feel like it's the right timing here. And I want to take a risk or a gamble here because it's something that had ended, stopped or completed here when it comes to friendship, celebration and hanging out. Three of Cups energy. All right, my Scorpios, we're gonna now jump into our singles. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yes, I wanna hear from you guys. So I'm gonna hear from you guys in the comments below. You can also check out your monthlies, which are up and available right now. Let me clear this out of the way here. Okay, bear with me for a second here, Scorpio. 
All right, what's going to happen my Scorpio Singles Romantic Love Life for May 7th to the 20th? Scorpio Singles Romantic Love Life for May 7th to the 20th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Scorpio Singles Romantic Love Life from May 7th to the 20th. Scorpio Singles Romantic Love Life from May 7th to the 20th. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. All right, so it looks like there's choices being made here with the Two of Wands energy. To, because there's a sense of confusion or a want to gain clarity here. The block, it seems to be like, all right, is this the right timing here when it comes to romance, moon card energy? And it looks like you actually have a lot of choices and options here, Scorpio, because Seven of Cups energy is coming out. And it looks like some of you may have changed one, uh, from a loca one location to another location, or there's been improvements in your romantic love life that's actually a good influence here, which has brought in a lot of options for you guys. There's romance and a sense of confusion about these improvements and changes. So luck is on your side and there's a choice being made about these choices and options, Seven of Cups energy, the analyzing about a choice. Okay, Scorpio, this is the outcome here. Romantic gestures are being taken towards you. You're gonna hear about this Eight of Wands energy at work, Eight of Pentacles energy. Or when you're focused on work, Eight of Pentacles energy or school, Eight of Pentacles energy. It looks like, yes, it's hopeful for you with star card energy. And there's something really is going to make you very happy here. And something to do with ending, stopping, or completion here. Or something's going to be revealed about someone ending, stopping, or completing things, which are going to bring some hope. I'm going to clarify that further. There's love here and hope. There's something to do with people. And a lot of analyzing happening here with the magnifying glass. Like, all right, I need to look at the details here. Should I take a break from this? Should I end this? Should I stop this? Okay, so let's keep going here. There is some arm wrestling or competition here because of this passionate energy, Knight of Wands energy, and a potential opportunity for passion, Ace of Wands energy. So I see what's going on here. You got a couple of choices and you're kind of like analyzing. You're like trying to figure out what choice to go with here. And you're wanting to go for the one that you feel like there's love with, right? Because it's romantic gestures, but then you also got this other opportunity of passion, which you're like kind of hesitant to go for that because you're like, I don't know if there's going to even be a commitment around that. You know, it could be like a player kind of energy with that Knight of Wands coming out. And there's a competition going on here, it looks like here for your attention. All right, my Scorpios, you got some stuff going on in the next couple weeks, that's for sure. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys in another day or two with your weeklies. So for more information, you guys can also check out your monthlies because obviously you could definitely get some more information about what's going on here. It's a lot going on there. And if you guys would like a personal read with me, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. I love you guys so much. Have a great next couple of weeks and I will see you soon.